So this is like a trailer for the movie that didn't exist yet, The Long Walk. It was made before the movie. And I'm not going to call these mistakes because a movie can be different than the, um, the novel. And you got to have some artistic leeway, you know, but it'd just be fun to compare this to the novel and see what the differences are. Here we go. So this is Garrity waking up 9 a.m. I guess the problem I have with that is that the walk starts at 9 a.m. So he's, he's officially late. And from where he lives, down near Freeport, it's about a six-hour drive up to the border of Canada, up to where the walk is. So um, even if he leaves this absolute moment, he'll be six hours late. Yes, Garrity has breasts. Now, Maya Blitz um, does all the parts in this. She's amazing. She she's, uh, acts out everyone um, in, in this. Okay, hint, uh, hint three is do not wear sneakers. Nothing will give you blisters faster than sneakers. Pretty sure Garrity did not have sneakers. Warnings are issued every time a walker falls below the speed of four miles per hour. You only get three warnings before you get your ticket, which means you lose. So that's you commonly hear that um, in like reviews of the book. People mistakenly say this, but in the novel, actually, every walker has a two-minute death timer, and when their speed in the correct direction, which is the direction of the walk, falls below four miles per hour, their timer counts down and they receive warnings when their timer reaches 90, 60, or 30. That's their first, second, and third warnings. So they could effectively slow down 29 times for one second and still uh, they could fall under four miles per hour for one second 29 times and still not get a warning because their timer is at 91. And the ticket happens when the timer reaches zero. An hour of walking without any warnings means that you get one warning taken off of your shoulders. This is true, but I just wanted to clarify that the warnings are still about the timer and that what's actually happening is that your timer is getting reset back to uh, 60, 90, or 120, depending on if you have 3, 2, or 1 warnings. Sit down, boys. Remember him 13. Conserve energy whenever possible. So, I guess wardrobe. Uh, the difference here is that well, the major did have glasses but they were reflective sunglasses the major had a Sam Brown belt with a pistol and he wore uh, khakis begin luck to all actually the major just says luck to all he doesn't say begin so this is Garrity obviously number 47 but He's wearing a faded fatigue jacket. So, also no food belt and no canteen. Hmm. So this is Peter McVries. And McVries also has a fatigue jacket and should also have a canteen and food belt. This is Stebbins. He's eating a power bar, but in the movie he's got two halves of a jelly sandwich. He did have purple pants though, so close, uh, and had a green, a very worn green sweater with um, holes in the elbows, and under that was a blue chambray shirt. Uh, he also had blonde hair.
All right, this is number five, Barkovich. And once again, as with all, no food belt, no canteen. And Barkovich also has uh, fatigue. There's a line in the movie about a um, fatigue Congo line when you've got McVries is, is taunting Barkovich walking behind him and Garrity is walking behind McVries. It's like a, a fatigue jacket Congo line. So they, all three have uh, fatigue jackets. Um, and I think uh, number five, he placed his uh, number up uh, like near his lapel rather than on his chest. So saying a few hours later, it depends on your definition of a few or a couple. I would say a few means three or four. A couple is like two. Curly gets his ticket about 11, 10 a.m. and the start happens at 9, so it's about two hours and 10 minutes after the start. So a few hours later is, is pushing it a little, a little much. Warning, warning seven. Warning, warning seven. Second warning seven. The psychological toll of the long walk has on these. So there is no Dr. Harris in the book. Boys, it's hard to compare to anything else. But it's pretty cool that she added one. I mean, she interviews them, and it, you got to watch this. It's uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with uh, this short movie. Most boys get their ticket from insanity, exhaustion, illness, and even muscle cramps. I've got a Charlie horse. It ain't no fair if you got a Charlie horse. Warning, warning seven. Third warning seven. Ugh, it isn't fair. It just isn't fair. It Bam. Isn't so. I counted six seconds after uh, Curly got his uh, third warning. And with a two minute timer, you get your third warning when your death timer counts down to 30. You still have 30 seconds to live. So, so four days later is the fifth day, and it's the last day of the walk. Actually, you are. <laughs> Barkovich dies about 11 p.m. on day three. So if this is day five, he's already dead. And I've seen this uh, mistake before in other uh, trailers or animatics. It'll be like day five or day four, and they'll include Barkovich, who dies like close to midnight on day three. They never mention braces. Stebbins had braces. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, he did, Stebbins did think that he was invincible. I mean, a lot of people did. Scram thought he was going to win it. Barkovich, Olsen. A lot of people were very uh, confident that they were going to be the winner. So that's actually pretty accurate. Actually, it's being made into a movie. We, we don't know the release date yet. It's still under development as of the making of this video. It's not even production. They haven't picked the actors yet. They haven't picked the filming location, but it's happening, finally. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've heard that so many people. Actually, when I... Uh, read the book, I, I thought to myself, this would make an awesome movie, and hopefully hopefully it will be. Anyway, that's it for now. If you want to see some more of these, I'm going to compare the difference to a bunch of other trailers and animatics. So uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this. Thanks.